Hello, my name is John Hamel, and this video is one in a series of short lessons on anger management and relationship aggression. It is offered as a public service intended to provide you with some basic information and tools on how to overcome problems with anger and aggression and improve your relationships. These presentations are not meant to be a substitute for personal counseling nor do they constitute a full course in anger management or domestic violence. If you need further help, please go to the websites listed at the end of this video. Thank you for joining me. Think of your emotions, like your senses, as a means by which you get information from the world. Emotions provide further information about the environment and your relationship to it. Emotions such as fear and anger are necessary for basic survival. For example, anger warns you of a possible threat and prepares you to take action against that threat. Fear also warns you about a threat but prepares you to flee. When you are sad, it means that there is something missing from your life and you are drawn to others to comfort you. When you are generally happy around a particular individual, you probably will want to spend more time with that person, knowing that your love and belonging needs are being met. Denying or ignoring your emotions is as foolish as deliberately blinding yourself or puncturing your eardrums. Based on laboratory studies and field research with many cultures around the world, the anthropologist Paul Ekman determined that there are six primary human emotions, which are hardwired and available from birth. They are anger, fear, sadness, joy, surprise, and disgust. Different cultures have different rules about how emotions ought to be expressed. For example, people in Northern Europe are more reserved compared to people from Southern Europe. However, facial expressions for each emotion are the same across cultures. A person who is angry, for example, will exhibit lowered and furrowed eyebrows, glaring eyes, and a tightly clenched jaw. Even when people are consciously trying to disguise their feelings, their face will show at least some signs of the emotion. In addition to the six primary emotions, humans also experience what have been called social emotions, necessary for meeting social demands and expectations. The major social emotions are shame, guilt, jealousy, embarrassment, and pride. Some emotions, like jealousy and anger, are very powerful and can be misused. When you feel a strong emotion, you tend to go with it because you learn to trust your gut. However, emotions are only as accurate as the wiring in your brain. Abuse, trauma, and other experiences can result in distorted emotions that can't always be trusted. Furthermore, for most individuals, especially men, experiencing and expressing emotions can make them feel vulnerable. Anger can make you feel temporarily powerful, which is why it can take over and mask other emotions. But expressing vulnerable feelings can also be very useful. When loved ones do things you don't like, expressing feelings such as disappointment, hurt, betrayal, or embarrassment will cause them to feel guilty and to change their behavior because they want to. Expressing only anger may cause them to stop listening or comply simply out of fear.